And Arizona's ties to the space race, the successor to the Hubble telescope has reached its final destination on the final frontier after a month long journey. Experts at ASU and the University of Arizona helped create the Webb telescope, which is now literally a million miles away from Earth. As Team 12's Michael Doudna shows us, the people who helped create it hope it images, hopes its images provide answers on how we got here. James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. A million miles away. Four times the distance to the moon. The Webb telescope sits at the end of a mission 25 years in the making. I never dreamed I'd do anything like this. <laughs> For the last 24 years, Marsha Riki with the University of Arizona has been there, helping design the telescope's infrared camera that will stare into the far reaches of space. It can collect over six times as much light as Hubble can, which means it can see much fainter and further away objects. The goal is to see the very first stars and galaxies. Essentially, it goes back to our own origin. Rolf Jansen has spent two decades working on the project at ASU. The hope is by seeing the very first galaxies and solar systems, we may better understand how we got here. How did these places come to be? From what are the circumstances that allowed the sun to form, that allowed the Earth to form around the sun? But it's the mysteries they don't know that Marsha and Rolf are most excited for. Uh, the most significant discoveries will not be the ones for which it was built. Maybe it will be something like a better understanding of black matter or energy. But the images this telescope produces will change the very perspective of our view in space for generations to come. Well, some part, it will just be pure excitement to, to see what's there. NASA does plan to turn on the telescope for the first time on Thursday before rearranging its 18 mirrors over the next few months. But they do expect to see those first images come in to be studied by the end of this summer. More in Phoenix, Michael Doudna, 12 News.